Hi guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. Hopefully, we have all of our cam camera issues worked out. Uh, new SD card, 128 gigabytes, is all reformatted to the camera. So maybe we'll get some video this time. I'm hoping we will. Okay, basswood. Basswood, basswood. Need to get some more. Just like, only got two more pieces left. Let's see, what do we got here? This basswood is about one and three quarter by one and three quarter by four inches tall. For our Canadian friends, it would be about four millimeter, four centimeters, four centimeters. Four and one, two, three, almost four and a half centimeters, okay, wide by four and a half centimeters wide, by 10 centimeters long. Okay, so now we got the both American standard and metric. Hope that makes everybody happy. Okay, that's that's for you guys in Canada. Jordy, Rich, all you metric guys. I think the metric system's a little bit easier because it all goes in fives and tens, right? where the American system is fractional. Okay, so what are we gonna carve? Well, we've already carved two wizards, right? And we already carved one wizard this big, four inches. And the second wizard is three and a half. He's a little shorter. So, beaver? Anybody want a beaver? Beaver, beaver, beaver? No. Ugly girl. Ugly girl. Yeah. One carve an ugly girl. Nah. Done that. I think uh, might be time for a little monster challenge. What do you think? Yeah. But what monster to carve, we say. I mean, this isn't a very big block of wood. Wish I had something bigger. I guess I got some uh, birch out there. Some birch. We got some bigger birch. Hmm. Should we carve bigger birch or should we carve this basswood? I don't know. It's one of them things. We could prototype out of our basswood. Yeah. We could do that. And then go for another monster. There's many monsters we could carve. We could carve an alien. Want to carve a gray alien? We could do that. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Carving a gray alien? Let's see. First, we have to make a we make a pattern with our paper for a gray alien. Now, the reason why I, I started using well, I've always used patterns, but the reason why I've started using them on my channel is because I like things kind of symmetrical. Okay, so what's nice about using a pattern is you draw your creature on here, right? You only have to draw one side of them, and then you fold it, then you cut them out with the scissors. And guess what? We open it back up. He's symmetrical. Same on both sides. Okay, so I think we should carve something cool. I don't have any aliens on my shelf over there. And I think we need a gray alien on the shelf. What do you guys think? Okay, so let me uh, sketch this out. And I will come back and show you what I've come up with. And uh, if we like it, we will carve it. Okay? So hang on. Here we go. Okay, guys. This is what I have come up with for an alien. Ooh, scary alien. Yeah? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this pattern into my sketchbook. That way there I'll have it for future because this pattern will be glued onto the block of wood as centered as I can get it. Okay. And we will cut it out on the bandsaw. And then I'll, I'm going to try doing a side profile of them and we'll glue it on there and we'll cut it out on the bandsaw. So we'll get rid of a lot of this bulk 
instead of sitting here with a Dremel forever trying to grind it all away, uh, we'll get rid of a lot of it on the bandsaw. If you don't have a bandsaw, a coping saw works good. Uh, all you need to do is just put this in a vise, cut out one side, flip it over, cut out the other side, and uh, you got your start to your alien. So we're going to go do that, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, this is uh, the rough carve, the rough cutout with the bandsaw. This is what he's kind of looking like. Yep. Rough cutout with a bandsaw. Well, you can see all of our center lines are still there. Right there. Right there, right here, come across his face, down through his neck, looking pretty wild, pretty silly, but that's what he's looking like guys, this would be, see this is the front, the back and that's the side so all this has got to be taken away yet but uh yeah that's just a rough cut out on the band so I'll just get rid of a lot of bulk the bulk material I left this extra large in the front because I didn't know what I was gonna do with his arms yet um, I'm kind of Kind of hosed myself on his arms, I guess. Well, not really. I can cut them back. And, uh... Yeah, we can, we can cut his arms back. We can still make them come this way if we want to. See, that's why there's that big woo in the back there. That great big... That great big slope in the back. Let's get you guys down a little bit more. That great big slope in the back. Because we can take his arms and we can give him shoulder like that. See, that's his shoulder right there. And we can give him arms coming out this way or straight out if we want to. Well, I guess not because we're kind of, well, that doesn't matter. We can always just take that off. It doesn't, see, that's the beauty of uh, carving on the fly like this is yeah I was planning on having his arms just hanging down by his side but if you want to change it up it doesn't matter we can push this deeper up into here into his chest and go that way with it which I, I haven't decided yet but let's uh Let's get this guy rolling by. We could even give him four arms. How cool would that be? We could split this and give him four arms. He's wide enough. We could actually split this and put an arm back this way and an arm forward. Make him uh, a space alien from the planet Octavius. The octopus man planet. All these stupid weird things come into your head when you're carving. Yeah, Jordy says it opens your mind. This is the back side anyway. This is the front side over here. Maybe better put an F for front. Forgot the shape of his head dictates which way his body's rotated. So yeah. You can see there's still gonna be quite a bit lot of carving going on here, guys. Lots of lots and lots of carving. Even though we did the rough out with the bandsaw. 
we may have to drop, fire up the Dremel with the... I am thinking I like the octopus guy. Maybe we'll go that way. I mean, he's got that big bald head like an octopus, right? Or like a... Could also be one of those like uh, gray aliens. Well, looks like the coffee's done. So uh, let's have some coffee and look at this guy for a minute and figure out exactly what he's going to be. See, he's gonna, he started out he was just going to be a gray alien. Or a green alien, or some kind of alien. But now, is that big? Did see that chip off there like that? So now he may end up being an octopus alien. I'm digging the octopus alien. Yeah. So this is going to be our new project. Sorry, guys, if you wanted another wizard. Nobody left me a comment saying they wanted to see another wizard. So. I think uh, yeah, I think this is going to be our new guy here for this vid for these next videos. And uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking octopus. Octopi. The people from planet Octopi. Because it's occupied. Oc occupied and occupy you know like occupy like the octopus and occupied like they took it over I know it's a stupid it's a it's a it's a play on words so I think I I think I got it figured out what direction I want to go with this this guy, because he's way big enough. We could split those arms and give him four arms. I think that would be, that's going to be cool, I think. Everybody else is like, you're a dork, Rob. You're a dork. I'm a dork fish. Yep. You ever, you ever watch that guy, Bill Ingvall? He was on part of that, uh, what was it, Blue Collar Tour or Redneck something or other. I can't remember. It was on TV. He told a story about catching a dork fish. He goes, could you imagine being out at the end of the pier with your bucket and you forgot your bait and all you had was a hot dog? So you put the hot dog on your fishing pole for bait and you catch a fish with a great big honking face, long nose, almost cross-eyed. It's a dork fish. Dork fish. One of your buddies comes up to you and says, Hey, what kind of fish do you got? And the fish goes, I'm a dork fish. Caught me on a hot dog. Caught me on a corn dog. Anyway, he does it better. I'm not as funny. But a dork fish. All I keep imagining is this. This fish with a great big nose, like, uh, you know, great big floppy nose. Like uh, Jimmy Durante had one of them great big long honkers. Sitting there eating hot dogs, saying, I'm a dork fish. Thus I babble. Anybody watches this channel knows I babble a lot. Okay. Let me sit back and take a look at this, and we will decide what we are going to do with them. Okay, so this is the beginning of our something kind of alien. Some kind of something type of alien. Maybe this will be the alien that our wizards has to fight, right? He's about the same size. We could have a battle royale between the wizards and the octopi aliens. So let's uh, kick back for a minute, have some coffee, take a look at this guy. And I think uh, 
this is going to end our video for today, or at least for now. So remember, guys, just carve, be awesome, do awesome, carve awesome. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Oh, share, like, and subscribe if you want to. And thank you, all you new subscribers. I never want to forget thanking you guys because you guys is what makes this channel happen. So, we'll catch you on the next one.